Hey everyone, I just read Thunderball by Ian Fleming, and this is the third freaking book where Bond fights a cephalopod. Spectre is introduced in this book. Spectre's symbol is an octopus, and Ian Fleming always said that once is happenstance, twice is coincidence, but thrice is enemy action. Ergo, Cthulhu wants James Bond dead. It's a book about... oh, hang on. There we are. It's a book about a British secret agent sent to foil the plot of a group of independent nuclear terrorists calling themselves Spectre. The pros? Spectre finally gets its introduction here, and they are compelling villains. I really like the spycraft and espionage on display here, gadgets and all. And the climactic battle was a lot of fun, especially the octopus. The cons? The start of this book where Bond goes to a health resort has no reason to be there. It serves no purpose and the only good thing to come out of it is that it turns Bond into a hippie for a chapter or two afterward. I can tell Fleming is trying to do better with Domino than the female leads of previous books, but she's still the villain's kept woman who is reduced to a tortured damsel by the end, even if she does get the final word. And this is the fourth, maybe fifth time I've read Live and Let Die, and I am just so over it at this point. That said, this is one of the better iterations of that story. I actually think it's better than at least one of its film adaptations. And while not great, I'd recommend it if you're looking for a classic spy thriller, or if you're interested in Bond's literary origins, then I'm giving Thunderball a C. What should I read next? Comment down below. If you liked the review and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.